Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Sean from All Things EV, and yes, you read the title right. Tesla is moving to a prismatic cell for their Model 3s made in China. This is a really, really big deal, and when I first read this news that broke through Reuters, I, I really had a hard time. I was extremely critical of this, and you know, there's, I think there's good reason to be critical of this because Tesla's always used a cylindrical cell, their entire production process, their battery pack, it's all designed around that cylindrical cell. And so to depart from that, especially for a new production process in China, is uh, I, I just found it really hard to believe and I was really, really critical of it. But sure enough, I have done some investigating and I'm at about a 98% confidence level that Tesla is doing this. Uh, I did a little bit of reading around. I spoke with some of my friends in the battery industry, got their opinions of it. And I want to give you some of this insight that I've received from some of my friends in the industry. And probably the one that makes me most confident about this is an anonymous source that I can't share, but has direct knowledge of these conversations. And this person did confirm that this has been happening over the course of the last year. And uh, it, it is about to be implemented very, very soon. And this will be for the standard range Model 3s, the least expensive ones, and not for the long range Model 3s. This is a specifically tailored prismatic cell to Tesla and their battery pack, so it will be made for Tesla's battery pack. I expect it to be made by CATL, which was what Reuters broke anyway with this, with this lithium iron phosphate chemistry. And, um, and so this gives me an extremely high level of confidence that this is actually happening because of this anonymous source is privy to these conversations that have gone on. And, uh, and so I also had a chance to just fact check this with my buddy Ravi, the materials scientist, and he also confirmed that this would be possible to do. When I asked him about how this could impact things like battery longevity, he, he did say that it would give it a little bit more cycle life, a little bit more life cycle in the battery. In terms of the battery management system, there wouldn't really need to be a whole lot that needs to be done there from transitioning to the cylindrical to the prismatics. And so this gives me an extremely high level of confidence that this can happen and this will happen. Now, if you've watched some of my previous videos, you know that I've talked about Sandy Monroe's research and he's done some phenomenal research to identify the cost of the Model 3 battery pack. And from the battery pack that they've analyzed, he estimated that the cost of the battery pack is just a little over $13,000. $331. Now, if we use this article from Benchmark Mineral Intelligence, which is a very trusted resource in the industry, they indicate that the savings for, from moving from cylindrical to prismatic will be in the double digit range. And so if we take what we, what we know from Sandy about the cost of the pack and add that, let's say 10 to 20% savings, the battery pack will go from that $13,331 for the pack to between $10,665 to $11,998. So they're shaving some significant cost off of this battery, which is pretty impressive. And I think what will be even more impressive is if they can keep the range that they've advertised and maintain that and allow the consumers to have a seamless experience regardless of whether it's cylindrical or prismatic. One of the clear advantages of using prismatic cells, which by the way are used in the BMW i3 as well as the Nissan Leaf, is the ability for these to maximize the space in the battery pack with cylindrical cells they're cylindrical, and so there is some space in between, but with that prismatic, it's going to be a lot more efficient at utilizing the battery pack space. When I asked my anonymous source about whether Tesla would be rolling these prismatic cells out to their entire fleet and their entire battery cell production facilities, this person said no, he expected for it to remain a China-specific thing. 
This person did say that it was solely a cost decision for Tesla producing the Model 3 in China. And because it's a double digit savings in battery cells, this means that there's more of a profit margin for Tesla and it's hard to say how this will impact or if this will impact the actual sale price, but it certainly gives them more leverage to be able to sell a less expensive Model 3 in the country. In summary, Tesla is moving to a prismatic cell for their Chinese-made standard range Model 3s, and it will be made by CATL. This was strictly a cost decision for Tesla, and this implementation is imminent. We're talking in the next three to six months, we should see this implementation for this new form factor, this new prismatic form factor. It's exciting, it's, it's pretty big news, I think, since this is the first time Tesla has done something other than their cylindrical cells. But it means that the market is changing and cost for batteries are changing and, it, and the energy density for other types of battery form factors is becoming more and more appealing. So a lot more to come. I'm sure that we'll learn a lot more about this in the Battery and Powertrain Investor Day coming, coming some, sometime in April likely. And uh, I'm going to do a secondary video on some of the some of my predictions for this. I think it would be really fun to talk about some of the obvious things, but also maybe not some of the not so obvious things. And I think uh, you, the viewers, would enjoy that. So that concludes this video. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks so much for my Patreon supporters supporting this channel and helping fund it. I'll catch everyone on the next video.